Sean Murray and the team at Hello Games are back at it again, releasing a new update and expedition for No Man's Sky called The Cursed, that brings a range of creepy creatures, planets to explore, and even a new ship. This expedition only runs for two weeks, so I don't really have time to get into a big intro. Let's just dive right into this guide and get it done. Before you begin the expedition, don't forget you can lower some difficulty settings to help speed you through this expedition. I always recommend that you don't touch the combat settings as this could impact your progress, but feel free to tweak difficulty elsewhere. Out of time and ink stained skies. As usual, the first objective is usually to locate your ship. Put your visor on and track it down. While you're heading towards it, take out your bolt caster and blast the boundary horrors away. You need to kill 16 of them to tick this objective off, which you won't be able to do all in one go. They will pop up frequently throughout this expedition, but before you leave the first planet, feel free to just blast away. Once you've done blasting, and you found your ship, you don't actually need to enter it. Instead, follow the voice and head inside the base. Activate the terminal and then walk outside. The objective will tick off. Elixir of Glass. Craft the Elixir of Glass that you just learned from the Expedition Reward, drink the Elixir and tick off another objective. You'll actually fall back on this Elixir a lot through this expedition as it keeps your boundary limit high. If you stop drinking elixirs of glass and let the boundary waver and you'll unlock the edge of glass objective and for another quick and easy objective use your terrain manipulator to dig 1600 units underground for the fear the sun objective keep in mind that you don't have to dig 1600 units directly down just go a little bit under the surface and then create a long tunnel or for a quick way of speeding things up just dig down and then spin a bit while firing your terrain manipulator. Doing this objective early on helps you get a pre-packaged refiner for your exosuit. Let's repair your starship now to complete the nowhere to run objective. You'll need your starship to harvest gold for the next elixir. I recommend stacking up on gold and silver as much as you can early on in the game because you'll need a lot. Repair your ship using the required materials and leave the planet. This will take over that objective. While you're amongst the stars, start mining asteroids. If you don't want to do a lot of mining now, you'll only need 20 gold and 40 silver and then you can head back down to the planet you're on or find another planet that has sentinels. Written in blood. To create the elixir of blood, you're going to need Mordite from killing creatures, Pugnium from defeating sentinels and gold from asteroids. Gather enough materials to make two of them and craft it. Make sure that you select the objective and it should advise you to drink it. If you drink it, you'll get the elixir of Quicksilver recipe. Dislocation. Now, we need the materials for the elixir of Quicksilver. Silver is from asteroids, pure ferrite is from refining the ferrite dust, and chromatic metal is from refining copper or other metals. If you're on the starting planet, you'll need to refine cadmium to get chromatic metal. Craft the elixir and drink it. This will reveal a portal. Along the way, if you've done a little bit of walking on foot, the well-grounded achievement should tick off. Don't stress if it hasn't, as this will come about naturally as you progress. Beyond the boundary. Once you have drunk the elixir of Quicksilver, a portal will be revealed. Get into your starship and head there. Get in front of the portal and use the terminal. Offer the elixir of blood to activate it and simply walk through the portal. Reinitialize reality and phase one of this expedition is now complete. Once you've regained your bearings, head to the planet Erston in the system you're in. If for some reason it isn't named that on your format, look for a fiery planet that has ancient bones on it. Beyond death and hewn from light. We're going to need to excavate 10 ancient bones on this planet, as well as 5 storm crystals. Ancient bones show up with a yellow icon, similar to buried technology modules. Storm crystals are only visible in extreme storms, so harvest bones until the weather takes a turn for the worse. You can use storm crystals with your visor indicated by the lightning bolt icon, 
and ancient burial sites that have the ancient bones can be found using your target sweep visor. Once that's done, you'll be able to craft a new elixir of blood, but first, we need a portal. Craft another elixir of quicksilver to reveal a portal, head to it, and then use the elixir of blood on the terminal. Head through the portal and reinitialize to complete Breach 2 and Phase 2. You'll see the planet is now corrupted. Start mining all the living crystals, which are the purple gems, to amass Atlantidium for the discordant objective. Also, take this time to hunt down corrupted quadrupeds. The big ones are the only ones that count, and you'll need to defeat eight of them to achieve the arachnophobia objective. They usually hang out around dissonant resonators, but this can be a very frustrating objective. We don't really come across any more dissonant planets, so unfortunately, it has to be done. We will then have to leave this planet and find the infested planet in the system. Land there and defeat eight hungering tendrils. Once you're on the infested planet, use your target sweep mode to find a titan worm nest. When there, you'll need to defeat the hungering tendrils. Rinse and repeat until eight are defeated and tick off the endless hunger objective. This will give you your fishing rod. Now since we are planet hopping, find the scaly planet in the same system. It will have three life forms on it, two of which are needed to complete the genetic glitch milestone. Now head to the redacted planet and install your pre-packaged fishing unit. You'll have to fish up four anomaly fish to complete the in wine dark seas milestone. It seems the further the boundary drops, the higher the chance of catching one. Good luck. Once you have your fish, if your boundary level is still low, start blasting away at some more boundary horrors. Once you eliminate 64 of them, you'll actually unlock an ink drenched guide's milestone. Now, on the same planet, just find some deep water. You'll need to float on the surface of the water with a depth of 60 units below you for 60 seconds. If you follow the objective, it will count it for you and tell you your depth. My UI did disappear sometimes throughout the count, but I didn't move and I managed to unlock the in deep water milestone. Since we're in deep water, we also need to get four hypnotic eyes from Abyssal Horrors. Shoot them to defeat it for its eye to tick off the glassy stair milestone. Now target sweep will assist you in finding the horrors when you select the milestone to track, making it a lot faster to complete. Now, while we're still on this planet, as soon as it becomes dark, as long as your boundary level is a bit higher, stare at the stars for 60 seconds uninterrupted to complete the Serenity Reclaimed Milestone. This will give you the latest Elixir of Blood recipe. Let's craft this elixir, and you'll need to find a portal. Craft a Quicksilver Elixir too, head to the portal, and use the new Elixir of Blood on the terminal, walk through it, reinitialize reality, and complete Breach 3, and phase three. Leave the planet you are on and head to the space station in the system. We need an emergency signal detector in order to get tainted metal. Abandoned frigates are dangerous so make sure you're prepared for a fight. When you finish the freighter you'll have a chance to select a reward and I recommend selecting nanites. Head back to the space station, hand in the manifest and the captain's log to the scrap dealer who will give you tainted metal, completing the metal bones milestone. While you're here, I recommend buying and scrapping ships and selling the modules to earn nanites to tick off the reality foam milestone. For those who don't know how to do this, you simply purchase ships that land in the station, scrap them, sell the parts for money and the modules to the module dealer for nanites. But you can also just find abandoned structures and refined larval cores from the eggs that are around the outside of some bases for some quick and easy nanites as well. Before you leave here, I also recommend visiting the cartographer and purchasing a few maps for the alien cartographic data. It'll be much faster to find alien ruins compared to the signal booster later on. Head back to your ship and select Breach 4. The portal should already be marked this time, but if it isn't, just drink an elixir of Quicksilver to locate it. Craft the new elixir of blood recipe, 
activate the portal, walk through it and reinitialize reality to complete both Breach 4 and Phase 4. Now, it's time to locate some alien ruins. Use those alien planetary charts we picked up to get the job done quickly. If you missed it before, I recommended visiting the cartographer and purchasing a few maps titled Alien Cartographic Data. It'll be a much faster way to find alien ruins compared to using the signal booster as they have a 33% chance. Tick off this milestone because we're almost done. Craft the final elixir of blood and also a quicksilver elixir to locate the portal. You know the drill. Offer the blood at the terminal, activate and enter the portal, reinitialize reality and check off breach 5. Jump into your ship and head to the icon that has just appeared called the boundary break. It's time to probe the wall of reality. Use your target sweep scanner to lock down your objective, interact with the grave marker Finish the conversation to complete Face of Glass. Now, craft and drink the elixir of water and prepare for a fight. I recommend constant circle strafing the boundary guardian while maintaining fire on it. Defeat it and you'll not only tick off to drink the water and boundary guardian, but you'll also complete phase 5 and the expedition. Turn in your expedition if you're playing on your main save, redeem your ship and I hope you had a great time. If you found this useful, feel free to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you amongst the stars travelers. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. The best way you can support me is to like and subscribe and continue watching my content if you enjoy it. But if you do want to go that bit extra, you can buy me a coffee or join our Patreon, which shows you behind the scenes of this channel. Thanks again.